Hi Capricorns and welcome to your April 2023 general tarot forecast. This is Sky coming on to talk to you about your month ahead. A relieving, relieving, relieving energy coming up for you all, um, which I'm very excited to be talking about. Of course, we have the first month of uh, Pluto being out of your sign, like the first full month of it. What a change that is going to be for you all since 2008. You have had it in your sign. In this reading, I'm going to talk quite a bit about that uh, with intuitive messages, a week-to-week -week tarot forecast, and an extended reading on Patreon, which will be linked below. And um, also, Capricorns, I hope that you will subscribe to this channel if you're new and turn on those bell notifications. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's talk about Capricorn intuitively in April. This is... Uh, I'm kind of giving you guys a thumbs up. Like, things are fine. I feel like you have... Um, come through a battle or come through some type of storm of experience and um, now you get a nice break until about june where you have the very last um, segment of pluto and capricorn as it will retrograde back and be there until i believe november of 2023 when for the very last time um, it will leave capricorn um, and be an aquarius for the next 20 years so you get the first foreshadowing of the new world that you can begin to create in your life in April. Um, I'm seeing a lot of Capricorns finding the perfect house for them, the perfect plot of land, the perfect uh, new life coming in. I'm definitely seeing immigration for some Capricorns. I'm seeing um, whether or not you're crossing borders. Some type of immigration is happening in your life. There is some type of crossing point, and if not now, definitely by like December of this year when we get the final movement of Pluto into Aquarius. Um, I feel that you are crossing some type of major border spiritually or physically in your life. So I want to really hold space and revere that process for you all. Because um, in the human lifespan, we only get to experience so many crossings of Pluto across signs. Of course, it takes Pluto 248 years to go around the sun. So um, most humans only experience like um, a few signs of Pluto in their lifetime. So it's even rarer, of course, to have Pluto in your sign as not everybody experiences Pluto in their sign in their lifetime. So there's something like that happening to you, or that has happened to you over these last 15 years, where it's like once-in-a-lifetime chances, and even at this time, I think in April of 2023, there might be something of a once-in-a-lifetime chance. And I think that April is just going to be a really good month for getting anything that you can comfortable and well in your life, having relief, having no longer to put yourself through some kind of turmoil. Um, there will be a turning point, I think, also in May of 2023. I've uh, forecasted that for Scorpio as well, as Scorpio is ruled by the planet Pluto. So you and Scorpio both are probably the most strongly impacted signs by this change. Um, though, of course, the entire zodiac is um, always going to be impacted by a change in Pluto sign. But you and Scorpio have a major turning point in May of 2023, and again in the timeline of like December to February. Uh, December 2023 to February 2024, major, major paradigm shifts coming in um, during this next year. What a, what a wild timeline we're in for the signs of Scorpio and Capricorn. Um, but bringing this back down to April a little bit, Capricorn, um, what you can do is you can start exploring a little bit. Um, it's not bad for experimentation, like thinking um, about, you know, um, life and about how short life can be and how long life can be as well and the things that we actually want to experience and the wholesome purposes that life um, is about the changes in focus uh, what change in focus do you have what does that mean to you in april of 2023 having a change in focus having a change in tone having some type of different scope of responsibility as well it could be more or less responsibility in fact for a lot of capricorns i'm feeling less responsibility as something just is not as burdened or as um, high octane or as dire as it was for the last 15 years some of you may have generated passive income by now some of you might have like retirement um, coming uh, during this time if you're of a certain age and then also if you're younger what I feel that this means is um, more freedom and more room to breathe more breathing room more more exhalation um, I've talked about how Pluto and Aquarius is more about the exhale instead of the inhale and um, that's definitely good to be thinking about here in April like how can I allow things to leave how can I exhale some of these uh, negative toxins how can I um, sweat some of this out or purge some of this out 
rather than what can I take in, what can I consume, what can I breathe in, which is what Pluto and Capricorn was about, right? As like a yin feminine sign, Pluto and Capricorn is about the power associated with taking in, with, with um, passively receiving, with um, uh, inhaling. Pluto and Aquarius, on the other hand, is about the power of exhaling or letting go or releasing. So, um, yes, uh, for you, Capricorn, I think that that's why this is such a relieving period of time, because it's like the first feeling of that relief or that for like letting out that corset or letting out that, um, or like letting the seams out a little bit, having more uh, space. I'm also seeing some of you with bigger houses, higher ceilings, uh, more land, more more of a bubble okay so whereas you might have been like really condensed in a small apartment or something having to live side by side with hundreds of other people now i feel you to have much more um wingspan or to be moving towards that um so whatever you can do in the month of april to support this idea of like having more breathing room taking more breath into the lungs taking more time also maybe it's more vacation days Maybe it's um, not working overtime anymore. Maybe it's really knowing how much room you have in certain situations. Are you using and spending your time wisely? Also, making room just for spontaneity with Pluto and Aquarius is um, welcome. As I do feel that a lot of Pluto and Aquarius channels through spontaneous choices and through um, allowing for creativity and unexpected situations as of course Aquarius is ruled by the sun, by the planet of Uranus which deals with the unexpected and the unanticipated aspects of life so that's where a lot of the power is uh, with this transit and it might take quite of adjustment right for being used to Pluto and Capricorn Pluto and Saturn sign and you guys are at the um, epicenter of that of, of this uh, change process that we're having so um, I think that you just need to welcome yourself into an easier time and um, let yourself breathe a little bit more and um, reduce what you can to um, allow for that. So let's talk about your week-to-week -week Capricorns. In the first week of April, you have the Page of Cups reversed, rooted down by the Moon card. So, okay, um, you can see things in a much more realistic way now. I feel that there's been escapism and there are other placements that we have right now, like Neptune and Pisces, Saturn and Pisces, that are kind of like... Uh, very much like the moon card, which is kind of like rose-colored glasses or using escapist mechanisms like um, substance or um, media to escape from the reality, you get a new view. So maybe some of you are actually like maybe really enjoying art, culture, media, or um, something that helps you to see the world in a different way. There are ways that that can function healthily. But with the Page of Cups reversed, it's saying that um, there's something that has gone unsaid or there's some kind of like truth or like you haven't been able to wear your heart on your sleeve. Maybe now you can wear your heart on your sleeve and this can basically change the tone of your reality, almost like a quantum kind of shift just by like your honesty or by being like the most solid, honest person in the room. Um, one superpower that Capricorn has in Scorpio is like being able to level up through honesty or transparency like even if people don't support you even if people don't support your truth it like still helps because it's like good to be um known to be honest it's almost like in this new paradigm that we're moving into people would rather have someone be honest about who they are or what they're doing and then like kind of be against that as opposed to somebody faking it or somebody like just trying to fit in or somebody just trying to put on a front to be accepted um that's going to get really prevalent with pluto and aquarius like people I don't know, it's like, uh, a good example of it is like, okay, so I wear the the necklace that has the, like, religious symbol on it, and then I, like, fit in with that group, but I don't actually practice the, um, the uh, doctrines, okay? So things like that, where we have these kind of, like, false fronts, or, um, uh, you know, trying to indicate something about identity that maybe is not supported at a deeper level, I think is something that you're facing in the first week. Like, what are you fronting? Like, what are you wearing? What are you, what does it mean? What is the deeper meaning of some of the symbols that you're allowing in your life? As you might be having, like, it's not like a rebranding. That's too much of an economic consideration, but maybe it's an evolution of identity or an evolution of who you are happening. And you might see that you, some of the symbols that you're wearing um, may support or may not support who you really are. Um, so I don't know, maybe this is a contentious issues. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is a contentious issue, but like, for example, um, I don't know, certain like fad atheist groups, like using like devil, uh, imagery or symbolism 
because it's like a counterculture and not because it has anything to do with atheism, things like that are going to start getting weird with Saturn and Pisces. Okay, so like mixed up symbolic gestures, like uh, people who don't, you know, revere the devil but have that archetype in their presence as like a symbol of counter as compared to like anything real. It's just a random example, but I would think about that during the summer. Anything regarding that, like a fad cultures and um, sort of, I suppose, the abuse of symbolism um, that become more of like a plastic representation of things as opposed to like a real um, symbol. Because I think people will start taking symbols more seriously during Saturn and Pisces. So if you have like a, um, a like a devil statue in your house or something, you will probably be seen as like um, a sadist or something or or a a member of like a satanic cult as opposed to like an atheist okay so um th that's just a random example uh that i feel in this energy is like uh, and the moral of that what i'm trying to um get through with that is like make sure you're willing to um <laughs> support the symbolism that you front okay you know um it, people can do whatever they want but i just think that it kind of skews identity sometimes and people get like false ideas or false um, conventions about what somebody supports when they have a certain symbolism, but then in real life they like don't support it. So it's kind of like very much like the moon energy there. So um, I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say there. Week number two, you have the King of Wands rooted down by the star card. Beautiful. Okay, so things start to get way more authentic for you. You are really starting to find yourself, Capricorn. And maybe it's through symbolism, or maybe it's through any myriad of things. I think you're reclaiming something, and I'm almost feeling like scars that you've had are going to start healing. So um, it's almost like a refinement process or some kind of uh, soul refinement happening where it's like, okay, I understand who I am now. I understand what I want to represent. I understand the symbolism of my life. And I'm kind of like matching all of this together or I'm harmonizing or optimizing or calibrating the way that I represent who I am, but then also the truth of who I am. And it's not like a, it's not misaligned or misrepresented, you know, and you start to basically get energetic harmony and your aura starts to get better. Um, the star is definitely about the aura, right? Like it's one of the representations of nudity in the tarot. And it means that, you know, we don't feel like we have to cover up. We don't have to hide things. We don't have to use exterior symbolism perhaps to convince other people of who we are we have our own truth that exists um in an authentic organic way and that's enough uh, king of wands can be kind of the opposite though it's like the enjoyment of upholstery or like what you wear on the outside and what that means about you um so it's kind of like combining these things together like really just getting your body and yourself in an organic and true and potent place and then also like new creativity there's a world of new creative projects coming in for you all in the second week and i think that that's a really wonderful area of focus for you okay the third week you have the king of pentacles who you done by the queen of pentacles beautiful maybe you're marrying another capricorn comment below if you're marrying another capricorn um there's some kind of like wedding though happening maybe of your own masculine and feminine capricorn side where you're understanding the way that your um nature works in both in exterior and interior way i definitely see healthy diet healthy finances there's a comprehensive wellness holistic wellness regime i feel that marries in your life or comes together um, and this is a great progression from the first through the third week and even to the fourth week where yes you have the lovers rooted down by the six of swords and you know which way to go now okay you know whether to go left or right you know um, that all paths lead back to a certain specific momentum you aren't afraid to change you aren't afraid of where you are you aren't afraid of what people think about you you're comfortable in your own skin i think that that's what's trying to happen for you capricorn and capricorn is actually the sign that is um, most naturally comfortable in their own skin most capricorns don't give a you know what about what other people think about them while the 10th house which is the house that rules capricorn um has a lot to say about reputation and status and um, you know, things like that. I find that Capricorn is not a sign who's very, like, um, concerned with keeping up with the Joneses or concerned with, um, fronting someone else's 
doctrines, concepts, or ideas about what prosperity is. So I feel like you're getting even more comfortable in your own skin, but now that's combining also with like your creative potential or there's an elevation in your skin and, and almost like a refining or a, um, uh, again, a healing of scars or a healing of um, something that you wanted to cover up before. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, again, the King of Wands and the Star card. And, and then that comes up again in the fourth week where you're having to like actually move forward maybe with like different ideas or different um totally different quantum reality because of not feeling like you have to hide or cover things up so anyway capricorns that's beautiful i'm going to talk a little bit more about this in your extended reading which i will link below i'll get a central theme two supporting themes and a significator card and we'll talk more about getting more comfortable in your skin and also like not being afraid of like actually being who you are and moving forward in that way. So that'll be linked below. I hope you guys have a great month. Uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, it really helps. It's a great free way to support this channel is just hitting the subscribe button, thumbs up, comment below. Um, all of those are great free ways to support. Otherwise, I will see you over on Patreon uh, for this extended. Let's do that now. Much love, Capricorns. Bye.